Hello everyone and welcome to Fableheim and Mistover in normal mode. Now, there's a lot that we need to talk about in this episode, but if you have never seen Mistover before, allow me to explain a few things. We were found unconscious, well, not unconscious, we were found with amnesia in a misty forest, far from home with no recollection of what we were doing there. We were rescued by brave knights of the kingdom of Arta. And, long story short, oh, that sucked. In, <laughs> in return for the Duke's assistance in recovering our memory, we have become expedition members in service of the Duke. Well, we're currently testing to do that, and in order to pass this test, we need to explore 80% of the very first zone, which should be no big deal whatsoever. And congratulations, you're now caught up. <laughs> if you're wondering why we're starting Mist Over again for the third time, which I agree is a lot, it's because we encountered a bit of a problem <laughs> in our hard playthrough. A challenge, I should say, that I wasn't quite sure we could overcome. Low on funds, we lost the Grim Reaper, which was the character pivotal to our role, and it would have been very difficult for me to recover. Perhaps not impossible, but quite improbable. And I want... So I asked you guys what you would like to see. Would you like to see me restart in hard mode? Would you like me to restart in normal mode? Would you like me to just, you know, stop and come back later? And the answer is pretty much, you guys want to see more mist over. No matter how exactly. <laughs> Whether that was in hard mode or normal mode, you guys wanted to see more mist over. But we're doing this in normal mode because... In normal mode, I have a bit more, shall we say, room to work with things. Because if you go back and watch our hard playthrough, we were kind of just using the same comp for everything. We were abusing the uh, blind debuffs that you can see here. Well, the hit decrease, it's not called blind. The hit decrease debuffs that are in the game via the Grim Reaper and the Ronin. We were abusing those for both offense and defense purposes. But I decided we're gonna do normal this time because I want to have some fun. So, if there is a character that you want to see, if you go, you know what? No one uses the Onmyoji. I want to see more Onmyoji. Guess what? I'm going to put in an Onmyoji for you. If you say, no one uses the witch, guess what? I'm going to put in the witch for you. <laughs> and basically, that's the gist of this series. We're here to play with all the characters, make up insanely ridiculous group compositions, and farm like we have never farmed before. To, you know, explore everything in the game. So, with that said... We are not going to really focus on the story at the start. We will once we get back to where we were, which is, oh, quite a ways away. So uh, look forward to that. <laughs> but what I am going to do is focus far more on the town. Oh, we're about to be attacked here. Focus on the town and the characters available to us. Does that all make sense? All right, that was it for the very long introduction. Hi. <laughs> and our the name of our... Uh, to show how serious I am this time, I suppose, the name of the expedition group is the eponymous Fablehem, with an R at the end, so it's more, you know, official. I could probably stun here, huh? I really want to press this button, though. As far as a our starting group, it's the same always. So we have a Ronin, a sister, a shadow blade, a paladin and a witch. Our starting abilities weren't the best in the game, but they aren't the worst, you know? We could have had worse. Worse exist. I was actually just very happy with how the sister rolled. We have love, which we used in our hard playthrough. Overflowing love, which we used in our hard playthrough. And stable cloud, which is amazing. I highly recommend always getting stable cloud. Unfortunately, I cannot do anything in the front the front column with uh, the sister. We missed. Uh-oh. 
Sucks to be us, huh? Ooh, I could taunt or I could heal. Healing seems important, but this also seems important. Now, I didn't use masochistic pleasure at all. Actually, I don't think I've ever used masochistic pleasure in our first or second playthrough. So basically what it does is it will apply taunt to a whole column, and whenever they get hit, part of the damage will be converted into regaining mana, which is, as you can imagine, quite good. This might work. This might not work. You know what? I'm going to punch stuff. I did not use the witch at all uh, in our hard playthrough. Well, I mean, I had to at the start, right? But other than that, I didn't. Can I kill both of you? Probably not. Mm, maybe. Boom. Good job. I think I named you Masamune. Masamune. The, uh... All the weapons are, are uh, Muramasas. So I was like, you know what? Let's just call it Masamune. How confusing could that be? I believe that was the original name of our... Our Ronin friends. I'm gonna shoot something. Who am I shooting? I don't really need to... I'm not used to... <laughs> I'm used to having a Grim Reaper here, so that we needed to just, like, feed kills to everything. Oh, I should have healed. I should have healed. Lauri. So let me just run down the list. Well, we can do this while we're fighting. I probably shouldn't have wasted the food here. We'll let him come to us, and then we will grab the initiative. I will introduce you to everyone in the group, which I guess is a little late, but hey, better late. Then never. We have... Oh, can I remember their names? That's the real trick here. <laughs> Rune is the name of our lovely witch. I kind of designed her based on, I guess, my idea of a dark elf. Man, I wish I had provoke. Which is kind of why her skin is like an ashen gray. And she has light blue hair because I like the color. And uh, royal purple robes, because the Dark Elves are all about being royal. Kind of. <laughs> sort of. We have Masamune, who uh, is a ronin, so we went with black hair, because Japanese origin. Purple eyes, because, you know, anime. <laughs> and then a red sash and red beads, because I guess I think of red as a color that samurai would wear. And then Athena. Athena, that's her name. She was actually designed off of the hero, the hero class from Etrian Odyssey Nexus. I love that game so much. I don't think I ever finished it, but I really do enjoy it. I'm going to smoke bomb here because I'm scared. That's it, really. The only... Haha, -ha, I was right. I could feel it in my bones. I've been playing this game way too long. <laughs> it's what that just told me. And then, of course, I believe you are Lauhi. Lauhi. Yes. She is one of the antagonists from the Finnish epic poem, the Kalevala. And I just really like the name. You need some more mana. Rune. I was going to remember your name. I wasn't going to remember it at all. I lied. So on normal mode, you can kind of just get away with anything. Some of the... I did finally go through and look at what other people were playing. And uh, admittedly, without giving away too much, I was kind of disappointed. I'm going to have to taunt here. With uh, some of the group compositions. Because they were very straightforward. So, and, and by straightforward, I mean like they were literally just auto-attacking with their characters. Using, you know, their... Uh, their free ability. And that was enough to kill stuff. Now, mind you, we're coming from the hard playthrough where we had to have a sequence, a multitude of abilities sequenced correctly in order to not die a horrible and terrible death. And we still occasionally died a terrible and horrible death. So, uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to it, actually. I'm looking forward to being able to just focus on doing weird stuff, because that was my original goal with the series. That's why we started our first playthrough in normal, and then I sucked and lost a few things that were vital to our success. 
And I've learned how to avoid that happening, finally. It took me a while. But the trick, you're going to love this, the trick is the min-maxing strategy, I should say. Is in the support lab, you can level up your, I believe it's called like recruitment or something. And you can level up the maximum rank of character that you can recruit. Which, you know, you would think sounds really great. That's awesome. We can recruit up to rank 10. So that means if our group loses someone, we can just grab a new level 10 person and resume with our merry adventures. Right? You would think that's what it means. The truth is, though, is that these level 10 adventurers that you could recruit to bolster... Ooh, you are all lined up for death. <laughs> that you could recruit to just bolster for, you know, funsies. It turns out the AI just kind of randomly spends their point, right? Because they randomly get abilities. But once you start recruiting higher level characters, they just randomly spend their points on things. And so you can get people with like rank three of something you don't even want to use. And skill points are a finite resource that are incredibly valuable. Please leave Rune alone. Please. I don't want to already lose someone. That would make me look really bad. <laughs> I feel like I should taunt, but I'm just going to block with her. So the min-max strat, I'm going to go one step further, is to not level that at all. To only ever recruit rank 1 characters. Now what this means is even if they have an ability you don't like, you can pick them up and just level them manually and teach them what you want them to know. Now, you may have noticed a very important word, phrase in there. Level them up manually. What that means is that we're probably going to get a lot more 0.5 episodes. Episodes where we're kind of not doing a quest, but instead, you know, having a jolly good old time together. <laughs> so I hope you look forward to that. But as I said, the purpose of this first episode is to obviously do the first quest, but also say hi, tell you the purpose of what's going on, and to ask if you want to see anything in particular, you know? Maybe you feel like the witch was a class that I got a request to display more, so the witch is on the top of the list, but is there anything else you guys feel like didn't get the respect it deserves? Like the Omiyoji, perhaps? I don't think I used the Omiyoji at all in our hard playthrough, and I felt like he was missing, to be honest. I really, really like the Omiyoji. Not just because I'm tired all the time like the Omiyoji, but, you know. It's a great character. Just a little odd, and he didn't fit in with our game plan. I also barely used the werewolf, even though the werewolf is super duper strong. Maybe I should have healed that. So we're bre breaking out the werewolf, the Yoshi, the witch. I think those are the three we didn't use. Yeah. And I'm probably not going... I'm going to try and not rely on the super RNG that is, you know, hit and evade. Even though we will be using evade stuff. Because evasion is strong. So yeah, that's all my plans so far. If there's any... Ooh. If there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know. And of course, for those of you who didn't watch the other series, don't worry. I will keep you up to date on all the quests, just as I did at the beginning of this one. I will tell you everything that you need to know. And because I'm kind of skipping out on the whole Stella giving us the quest and whatnot, we're going to be spending more time in town. So, like, uh, near the end of the hard series, I was kind of showing you the discovery of the items that we found. The rewards from the golden chest. So, we'll be doing that. Any level ups or fusions I think need to be done, we can do on camera as well. Just to keep you guys involved and make you feel like, even though we aren't talking to Stella, whose voice actor is excellent, by the way. You're still here for something, you know? Please don't hit me. Now, if we're feeling really scared, which, to be honest, I'm not. Not feeling scared at all, actually. 
we can stack both Shadow Bomb and Laplace's Devil from the Witch, which would be plus 50% evade every single turn. That might be a little excessive, but it would be possible. Please slay. Well, it's taunted. Do I want to? Not really. As always, Masamune bringing in the heavy crits. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Can you kill this? I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, Lahi. Saying that name's a lot of fun. One thing I am interested in trying, for sure, is... With the werewolf. We bring in the Onmyoji, who's probably going to be named Hibiki, because I love that name so very much. We bring in Hibiki and our werewolf, who I have not quite determined the name of. And we give the werewolf mental amulet, which increases his hit, because the werewolf hits the Grand Grimoire. Oh, we're off to a great start. But as I was saying, the werewolf, he hits incredibly hard, but his penalty really, the way they try and balance that is his hit rating is low. So we bring in the Omiyaji, we bring in Hibiki, we give him the mental amulet to increase his speed and hit, and he just goes to town on everything. That's the golden key. Athena, if you would be so kind. Now, because we're going to be recruiting everyone from rank one, my goal is to have a lot of farming, like I said. Oh yeah, we got a werewolf weapon too. I forgot to tell you guys what the reward was for this zone, but... That was it. Because there'll be a lot of farming, we'll be recruiting a lot of people. And if you have names or suggestions for color palettes or anything, let that was the worst possible thing to get. Let me know, because I sat here for a solid 15 minutes thinking of names for everyone. Well, speaking of names for everyone, I forgot to introduce Marku, the uh, Shadow Blade. Marku, of course, meaning venomous in Finnish. My favorite language that I sort of kind of know, but not really. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. You're going to get wrecked. Now, Chaos Blast is the only cross ability, I believe, that players have access to. And it is perhaps the strongest ability belonging to the Witch, so we are going to be using that quite a lot. Probably one of the few things we're actually going to be leveling here. With... Aww. You move, well, that was dumb. <laughs> leveling for... Rune. Which I don't think is the actual correct spelling of the word that I was going for, but I can't use special characters in Mistover. Which is disappointing, but, you know. A common limitation in games. You all moved into the front row. Stun resist. Mika? Why? Oh well. It was still dumb for all of you to be in the same column. So we could heal... Marku. We could heal... Athena. Or Masune. Give him a good zap. Mm, beautiful. You love to see it. Boop. And I did have a thought. A thought of trying a bleed build. But the more that I thought about it, the more I became skeptical. Like, I have no idea if a bleed would be... <laughs> a bleed build would be good. You know, breaking out the Ronin bleed, which is the heaviest single target bleed in the game. Keeping... Oops. Keeping the... What is it even called? Bomb Toss on Marku. And who else has a bleed? Lauhi has a cooperative bleed. With the Shadow Blade, I believe it is. Is that all the bleeds in the game? Oh no, the Omiyoshi has one. So I mean, you know. There are a number of options. I don't know. I tried one out in the demo 
and it proved okay, but we were vastly overleveled for the content, so I don't actually know how reliable it's going to be, if at all. I don't know. And there is unfortunately not a whole lot of information out there regarding <laughs> Mistover in general. <laughs> Which is why I thought it would be fun to explore all the classes, you know? I can provide some of that information. You don't need to be in the front row. Column. I mean, technically she's also in the front row. <laughs> What we need... Oof, we need a lot of things right now. But we need a... weapon for basically everyone. That is our first limbo of the... game. I did bring two potions because I was trying to be prepared. I can still use zero gravity in front in the front row column. I'll get the word right eventually, you know. What am I even doing here? I don't know, but that was a crit. I need to heal myself. I need to heal everyone. We will be able to recruit more people when we return to town. So, if we lose someone, it's not the biggest of deal. I just don't like losing people. Because it feels bad. I was looking through the achievements, though. And, uh... Most of those involve losing people to random things. Hey, look! The witch's random jinx actually helped us out. Which is... odds. Someone take a screenshot. Because that's probably not going to happen again. I was wondering if the masochistic pleasure, it, I told you earlier how it converts damage into mana. I was wondering if it would convert damage into key for the Ronin, but it does not appear to do so. If it did, it would be pretty powerful. Which would make me happy, but you know. Here we are. I guess we'll finally use this. <laughs> Now go ahead and hit Athena, please. That would be great. You could just help me out like that. Well, they're both dead to bleed. My job here is done. Hey, look, it hit Athena. It did as I asked. That's so generous. We're actually going to... Allow Laohi to remove the bleed here. Ow. Also, starting with Stable Cloud is a big deal. That is the ability for the sister to remove bleed that we just used. Starting with it is huge, and you want to upgrade that immediately. Speed. Because it, when upgraded, it... What does it do again? <laughs> it converts it from a single target to a column bleed removal. Which, as you can imagine, pretty good. Am I going this way? This is fewer steps, but we take damage from this. Don't know. That gray blob is an enemy that we have already killed and has respawns. Much to my displeasure. We recovered some HP. That helped the out. I'm using the Ronin's exploration ability to dash about because that's the most efficient way to do this. We're probably going to be using the uh, Shadow Blade's ability to hide soon because, you know... We're going about the map a bit. I don't remember where any of the enemies are, so this could turn real bad real quick. But, you know. We live with our decisions. Here in Fableheim. Was that what I think it was? We are so set! Alright. Rune has eventually officially become the most powerful member of Fableheim. It happens so quickly, too. <laughs> they grow up so fast. Um, I guess I'm going around... Around town. We're walking over a poison trap, unfortunately. 
Where is Hideki when you need his presence? Mm. Alright. 131% completion rate. We are the best. Homebound we go. Everyone has gained a rank. Did I explain? I explained basically everyone except Lauhi and Merku for their schemes. With Merku, I was trying to make it really odd, like her skin being blue or something, as someone was talking about in the comments. But I didn't I didn't like it. <laughs> I like the idea of her idea of her being pale because she's you know lurking in the shadows all the time. So uh yeah. And then I have her eyes being blind because that just seems amusing to me. And then Lauhi. I don't know, that color just stuck together. Thank you for the tutorial. We got Time Blink. This is a stun. Stun plus hide, which is... I've never used this before, so I might try and use that. Shadow Warrior. A huge AoE is always helpful. Seal Breaker. This is a great ability, but unfortunately, lots of bright flashing lights, which uh, means I'm not going to use it ever. I believe, I guess we might actually use this. This spawns something in. And there's the bleed with the Ronin and the Shadow Blade. All of our items, all of our consumables, all of our acquired goods. The Doomsday God should be appeased because we cleared the entire map. Muhaha. <laughs> this is the Doomsday Clock if you've never seen it before. Your mortal enemy within the game. If it reaches the giant creepy eyeball at the top, then the game is over. You triggered Doomsday. Congratulations. The latest... Earliest? The farthest back you can push it is to 7 o'clock. And of course, midnight is doom. Before anything, let's see. What do we got? Flame Spiral. Oh yeah, you have a bleed too. Do we commit to this bleed idea? I don't know. I don't know, team. That seems sketchy. You have basically the, ex you have the exact same abilities as Merku. You have Taunt. You have... This is an interesting ability. I don't know. I don't know. You have the exact same abilities as Lauhi. Unfortunately, there's no Omiyoji Werewolf or... What else were we missing? Grim Reaper. So that is a little unfortunate. Just a wee bit. So let's go turn this in real quick. We have completed the expedition. I'm just going to kind of skim through this because this is the first quest. We've done this a few times. The expedition was great. Ah, oh, Heinrich. I love hearing your voice again. It's so nice. Spoiler alert. Cagliostro predicted the end of the world. He was your ancestor. He has the Book of Prophecies, which sounds sketchy from the get-go, to be completely honest. He somehow visited the world of mist. It makes it sound even sketchier, doesn't it? He foresaw the end of the world. <sighs> you can... The, the newest patch, 1.0.4, did add in Korean voiceover, if you prefer that. But I prefer the Japanese voiceover by far and large. I'm sure it's good, though. I just... I at least understand some of the Japanese. <laughs> Several weeks at most. Uh, you say that, but I'm pretty sure my hard campaign is like 32 weeks in. I pray that you are ready when the time comes, just as Duke Heinrich says. I shall do my best. They gave me alchemy supplies. Unfortunately, I cannot do that yet. So, we are going to accept these quests and try to unlock the thing about boobers. Here it is. Because I want you guys to see this. So these, this is the Grand Grimoire that we found. Guard 3. Mm. I mean, it could be worse, but that's pretty bad. Pretty bad. This is even worse, though. We could just see what it rolls. To fuse it? Uh, I mean... Mm. We're probably just going to throw that on... I have really nothing to fuse. Well, I suppose I can throw this in. I don't really want to sacrifice the... Uh, 
the werewolf weapons. Because as soon as we get a werewolf, he's going in. Ooh, we rolled the attack. You guys are just great luck. I say that every time, but it's true. So we have an amazing weapon with rune that brings her attack from 30 to 42 to 43 to 61. Ooh, we're going to be dealing the damage. <laughs> dealing the damage. It feels low after everything, but... Lohi, here is your defense because I need you to survive. What else did we get? That was it, right? We got the werewolf stuff. Oh, and we can give... Oh, we should give the stun speciality to Rune, because she's... Yes. Defense. I don't know how I feel about minus two evade. Evade's pretty important. Minus two speed for HP, though. And stun speciality. Well, you don't move at all. So there you go. Oops. We can give... We want to give our tank cow? Who needs health? Who doesn't need to go quickly? Is that who doesn't need to go quickly? I mean, you can counteract it with Forest Agile. That's probably not worth an accessory slot. Give me more HP. We'll... You know what? We'll give it to our tanks. Yamato will be fine with minus two speed. Now I want you to have minus two evade. And I want you to have minus two speed. This is more accurate. There we go. All right, our tanks are tankier. We have some of our very first equipment. And next time, after we talk to Adele, the warriors of Fablehem. Yes, so here's Adele. He is a gentleman that teaches us greatness, how to ascend into greatness. So with Rune real quick, we want... And we're probably going to level up Chaos Blast. Because as much as I love spamming zero gravity, Chaos Blast is where it's at. Devil's Eye with Masamune. Now, I don't want to really commit a whole lot of money to leveling things up. Uh, level 2 is the column, wow. I don't know if it ever becomes a group-wide thing. I never did figure that out. With Athena... Shield Shock? Hmm. Actually, a tough question. We were using Shield Bash just for DPS, because 150% of your attack is pretty good. And then with you, what do we want with you? I mean, we were using basically all of our abilities. Sting Heart is a real big DPS chunk, though, and we still haven't decided if we're committing to the bleed thing or not. I mean, this is a pretty pathetic bleeding attack. I'm just going to level Sting Heart and see where we go from there. All right, so that's all the town stuff. I hope this gave you a pretty good idea of where we're at. Oh, we don't have any jinxes yet. What we're at, what we're trying to achieve, and all the shenanigans that are about to ensue. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for everyone who commented on the video where I was asking for input. I'm glad that you guys love Mistover so much that you would rather see me restart for a third time in a row than take a break from it. There should be Mistover on the channel every single day moving forward. Might be a little different once the DLC for Total War comes out, but that, that, that's for a different video. <laughs> so I hope that you enjoy and you look forward to our ensuing insanity.